In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to link symbols together. In most electrical schematics, you will find many cases where a single component is shown using several symbols spread out over a project. A contactor represented by a coil and many contacts, or a PLC module split in separate blocks are the most common examples of this. Here is how this sort of situation is managed by SkyCAD. When you insert a symbol, SkyCAD creates a component in the background and links the symbol to that component. When you insert a second symbol, SkyCAD creates a separate component and links that symbol to it. When linking one symbol to another, SkyCAD links both symbols to the same component and removes the component to which that symbol was originally linked. There are several ways to link symbols to the same component. In all cases, start by selecting the symbol you wish to link to another. If we click Link With from the Home tab, a rubber band follows the mouse cursor. If we click on the coil symbol, SkyCAD will link the contact to the same component the coil represents. We end up with both symbols associated to C6, and cross references are shown beside both symbols. This method also works when symbols are placed on different sheets. Select the symbol, click Link With, go to the sheet where the other symbol is placed, and select the symbol. It's also possible to make a multiple selection to link several symbols at the same time. Another way to link a symbol to a component is to link it directly with a component in a list. Select the symbol you wish to link, then click Link With while holding down the Shift key. A window pops up, displaying a list of all components in the project. Choose the component you want to link to and click OK. Alternatively, if you insert a symbol while pressing Shift, the same component selection process will be triggered. If components are already listed in the tree view, you can avoid pressing Shift and link a symbol directly to the component in the tree view. Once symbols are linked, you will most certainly end up with component tags that are out of sequence. SkyCAD's renumbering process will take care of that. 